Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about acids, nomenclature of acids. The third group of compounds we need to work on their naming groups. If you remember that for ionic compounds and covalent compounds, we had two different naming groups. For acids, we are going to have another type of naming rules, but they are related to naming of ionic compounds. So I may ask you to remember that one for ionic compounds, and after that, we are going to work on acids. The definition we had for acid, if you remember that, I told you if we have hydrogen at the beginning of the formula and non-metals, we call the compound acid. So if we have hydrogen and these non-metals, or you may consider metalloids as non-metals as well. So, but in general, if we have hydrogen and non-metal, we call them acids. For acid, if you remember that, I told you all acid dissolve in water, so that is why we may write ages as well. Right now, I'm going to work on types of acids we may have. Whenever we are going to work on the naming rule of acids, first, you just need to remember that acids can be categorized as one specific type of ionic compounds because hydrogen is placed on group number one. That is why we may have positive charge, one positive charge for hydrogen. We call that hydrogen cation. So H plus, in general, in chemistry, we call that proton. We call that proton. So in, if in the next chapters we talk about H bond positive, it means we talk about proton. We have two types of acid, binary acids and oxy acids. We are going to know what is the meaning of binary and oxy acids. The definition we had for binary, it says binary means two. So whenever our acid contains only two elements, our acid contains only two elements, like this example, HCl, one hydrogen, one chlorine. This acid, let me write HS, it has only two elements. Another example, H2S. Look at this acid, we have only two elements, hydrogen and sulfur, only two types of elements. If we say oxy acid, it means our acid contains oxygen, oxygen. Look at this example, HClO3Hs. In our acid, we start with hydrogen at the beginning, we have oxygen. We call that oxy acid. Another example, H2SO4, for example, HS. H at the beginning, we call that acid. We have oxygen in the formula, we call that oxy acid. So it looks we have two types of acids, binary and oxy acid. Some textbook call oxy acid polyatomic acid. The reason, because we have more than two types of elements. Look at this acid. We have hydrogen, chlorine, oxygen. One, two, three. Three types of elements. So we may call that polyatomic acid. If we have only two, we call that binary. More than two, like this H, S, O, three types of elements, we call that polyatomic acid. It depends on the textbook and the resources you are studying for your class. I'm going to work on acids when we have binary acids. When we have binary acid. Rule for binary acid is like that. Hydro as a prefix should be added to the root or stem of the non-metal name plus each acid plus ic as a suffix. We are going to know what does that mean. So binary acids, binary acid, naming rule, I'm gonna write it here. You just need to have hydro at the beginning, ic 
acid at the end and you just need to only plug the root of the name of non-metal here so hydro eek acid at the left and right side of the name at the beginning and the end of the name and non-metal root name at the middle one thing i may ask you we call that binary acid we call that binary acid binary means two so the naming rule has one two one prefix one suffix totally we need to sandwich our non-metal by two sides so example for this one hcl aqs i'm gonna write the name for this binary acid i write hydro i write eek acid and the name of the non-metal look at the non-metal is chlorine is chlorine and here we see the root or a stem so i need to draw this one so i may call that hydrochloric acid so the name of this compound is hydrochloric acid so let me go to the next slide we are going to write the name of this acid h2s aqs h2s aqs so we write two atoms it means binary hydro eek acid left and right side then the name of non-metal s i write sulfur so i call that hydrosulfuric acid so this is the name of this compound name next one hi another binary acid so hydro at the beginning eek acid at the end and the name of the non-metal in the middle iodine we drop ine because we are going to add to the root so we call that hydroiodic acid and for acid we have always aqs i may ask you to write the name of these compounds h2se and hf see are you able to write the name correctly or not you may pause this video and look at the answer after that all right guys like right now i may call that hydro eek at the end and se is selenide we add to the root so we call that hydroselenic acid hf what do you call this acid what do you call this acid hydro at the beginning eek acid at the end f should be in the middle f we call that fluorine we add to the root so we call that hydrofluoric acid right now i'm going to work on oxy acids oxy acids to remind you when we have polyatomic ions when we have many elements example to remind you like this one hno3 HNO2. We are going to know how to call this acid by correct name. Aqueous, aqueous. Please pay attention. Whenever you are going to work with the oxy acid or polyatomic acid, you just need to remember the polyatomic ion name. If polyatomic ion name ends to ATE, we change that one to eek acid and if polyatomic ion name ends to ite we change that one to os acid we are going to know what does that mean so let's look at this example hno3 this is the acid so i just need to remove that one and see what was the polyatomic ion no3 one negative because we need to know the polyatomic ion charge because we call that ion positive or negative charge polyatomic anions because they are non-metals always negative charge so we just need to write the negative charge here no31 negative no31 negative i'm sure you remember that one you call that nitrate so rule says 
change ATE to eic acid. Change ATE to eic acid. So I call that nitric acid. So nitric acid means we have NO3 one negative nitrate as polyatomic ion. Please look at the next example, HNO2. So I'm going to remove hydrogen. So it looks I have NO2. Charge for NO2, it was one negative. I'm going to write the name for this. We call that nitrite. Rule says change ITE to OS. So I'm going to change ITE to OS acid. So the name of this compound is nitrose acid. Nitrose acid. So I'm going to remind you ATE, we change that one to eic acid. ITE, you just need to change to OS acid. Eic and OS acid. Let me work on this. H2SO4. I'm going to write the name for this compound. H2SO4. We drop H. So we have SO4. It means two negative because we had two H. Two positive, so I have to write two negative. We call that sulfate. So ATE, we change that one to eic acid. So we call that sulfic acid. But it would be better to call that sulfuric acid. So it doesn't matter. So you have sulfur or root name of sulfur. Sulfuric acid is the correct name for this one. If you say sulfic acid, it would be better to call that sulfuric acid. So it's the correct one based on the rule, but most commonly used name for this one is sulfuric acid. HNO2, I give it with that example. NO2, we call that nitrite. We change that one to O, so we call that nitrose acid. How about this one, H2CO3, what do you call that? Aqueous, all of the acids reported here, aqueous. I'm sure you have the correct answer, you drop H, so it means CO3 two negative, so you call that carbonate, carbonate. So you don't need to keep ATE because we are going to report acid. So ATE just changed to eic acid. So the name for that one, we call that carbonic, carbonic acid. Carbonic acid is the name of this acid. All right, guys. Right now, I'm going to ask you to write the formula for these names. Colorous acid. How to write the name for this? This is the acid. This is the acid. So first, I should write H at the beginning. H always is one positive because group number one. Colorous. We had O-S-E, O-U-S, sorry, O-U-S. O-U-S, it means we had chloride. Chloride, I-T-E. We changed I-T-E to O-S acid. And we change ATE to eic acid. So if you have OS, it means ITE. Chloride, what was the formula for chloride? Here, ClO21 negative. So I'm sure you can easily combine these two acids to write HClO2 as acid. Phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid. Eic acid. So it means we have phosphate, eic acid, it means we had phosphate. H at the beginning, charge for phosphate and formula for that PO43 negative. So let's remember how we reported the ionic compounds. 
When we have ions, you just need to cross and down H3PO4, aqueous. And finally, hydrobromic acid. It has hydro at the beginning, ic acid, and then two things. It means we have binary acid, binary acid, H and one element, Br, as bromine. So you just need to switch that one and record as bromic acid. To conclude this section, I'm going to say that we have two types of acids, binary and polyatomic acids. For binary means we have two types of elements, and here more than two types of elements. For binary acid, you just need to say hydro plus nonmetal eic acid like HCl, HS, hydro chloric acid. This is the one of the most commonly used binary acid in the chemistry in our daily life, our body to digest the foods should have hydrochloric acid. Polyatomic acids or oxy acids, another name for polyatomic acid if you remember that. If our polyatomic ion ends to ITE, ATE, is going to be changed to eic acid, sorry, eic acid and os acid. Example for that, HNO2, let me give it you another one, H2SO3, H2SO4. Oxy acids. So I just need to look at this SO3 2 negative. So SO3 2 negative we call that sulfite. So change ITE to OS acid. So you may call that sulfos acid, but as I said, for sulfur we call that sulfurous acid. H2SO4. Look at this, SO4, two negative. We call that sulfate. And ATE should be called by a new prefix, sulfic acid, or we call that sulfuric acid. Guys, hope you learn acids, naming rule, and writing the formula for this group of compounds. Please remember, two types of acids, for each one we are going to have different rules. So if we look at the literature, so we have these two types of rules. Thank you for watching this video.